From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Wednesday's top stories. The weather system to the southeast of us is now a tropical storm named Fred. It's moving in this direction and forecasters are tracking. Fred is projected to stay to the south of us. It could produce some rain in the area as it passes, but it's not expected to be a major issue. There are watches up for the southeastern Bahamas now. Fred expected to pass over the next couple of days. The government completing its latest plan to deal with a new surge in coronavirus cases. House members meet again today to debate the resolution that extends the COVID emergency orders to the middle of November. It was tabled yesterday. It's expected to pass in the House and then go to the Senate and be debated and passed there tomorrow in time to replace the current orders, which expire on the 13th. That is expected to be the last emergency order. The government will transition from that to the emergency management legislation they're dealing with now. It was tabled in the House yesterday, and the Prime Minister says they want input on this. We seek the advice of the official opposition. We would like the input of the religious community, businesses, NGOs, labor unions, other organizations and individuals, so we can make the legislation more representative before final passage and enactment. The vaccination effort kicking back into high gear now, with four centers now up and running and more vaccine on the way. Health Minister Wells says we should have around 44,000 Johnson & Johnson by the end of the month. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Health officials continue to keep a close eye on the corona infection numbers. They're out for Monday. 121 cases confirmed, spread over seven islands, 92 of them in the capital. 134 persons now being treated for the virus in hospital, 15 of them in the ICU. There was another death, taking the total to 308 now. House members taking time to pay tribute to the late A.D. Hanna during yesterday's session. Prime Minister Minnis announcing that the former governor general will replace the queen on the $100 bill Beginning next year, a state funeral is being planned for him. Questions for the government about who owns the companies given COVID-19 related contracts. The Auditor General says he's asked, but so far he hasn't gotten an answer. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No major systems in the area. Partly sunny, showers are possible, highs in the upper 80s, maybe some low 90s. 89 at Freeport, 90 in the capital, 90 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds generally 10 to 15 knots. The seas 2 to 4 feet. Low tide now, the next high around noon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the upper 70s to low 80s. Forecasters tracking Fred. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. This is the peak of the hurricane season. Insurance Management urges you to double-check your preparations and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Selling a car, lot, home, or computer? Call us today. The Tribune Classified Trader. 502-2351. Your number one source for buying and selling items in the Bahamas. If you really want to sell your personal items, then the Tribune Classified is the answer. Pick up a copy Monday through Saturday in the Bahamas' leading newspaper. The Tribune. The People's Newspaper. Wednesday's World News headlines in the U.S. New York's Governor Andrew Cuomo, credited with handling the first wave of the coronavirus effectively, has resigned over a sexual harassment scandal involving 11 women. That while the U.S. continues to see a surge in cases around the country, the Delta variant being blamed for the latest surge, Florida continues to lead the way with more than 20,000 cases per day on average. Now wildfires have broken out in Algeria. Forty-two persons have died in those fires already, including soldiers. That wildfires continue to burn in Greece, the U.S., and South America pretty much out of control. The Tribune's gas tracker prices, middle of the week. Shell 513, SO 517, Rubis $5.18 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Find out who's representing the Bahamas at the World Junior Track and Field Championships 
coming up in Kenya. The team leaves this weekend. More issues for Jazz Chisholm. Now he's on the COVID injured list. Read about that in the trivia on sports. Get the latest Major League Baseball update on the latest NBA free agency moves. The Lakers making a big move. Tributes coming in for basketball coach Steve Bullapinda, who passed away recently. All in the Tribune Sports Wednesday. For all your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories. In the Tribune newspaper, on the streets first thing in the morning, stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.